from this last time, from the first time coming here, comparing what's happened last year to now, mm -hmm. um, is probably on the cognitive side of things, mm -hmm. her schooling, her grades, mm -hmm. her ability to focus. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so our grades have definitely in, probably improved a whole grade or two levels up. Right? Her anxiety has come down. Anxiety was a big thing. The main thing with the disease, it usually digress. Mm -hmm. Once you start having certain symptoms, mm -hmm. um, they usually digress. And with her, since we've been doing the, di um, the treatments, it's never digressed. Mm -hmm. which is unheard of with the disease. Right. Mm -hmm. No yeah. decline whatsoever, in fact, progression in the positive direction, right? Where she used to fall so many times when she was little that, you know, you almost were afraid for her to walk because mm -hmm. she would hurt herself. Yeah. And so from the first treatment, that went away immediately. Yeah, at that point she was having pain behind her legs. Mm -hmm. She couldn't stand for very long. After that first treatment, um, the pain is gone. She's not been in pain. I think once she has pain now, it's probably more growing pains. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. sure. normal. Yeah. But it goes away quickly. Yeah. 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 Um, mm -hmm. How do you personally feel, like, like you're, if you remember last year, and then after you got home, did you feel like you noticed any differences? Well, later in the year, I noticed my grades, and yeah. I liked school mm -hmm. more than I hated school, which right. was... I would never think that would ever happen, but yeah, she really, she really loved school this year. Yeah, it was wonderful. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's great. In contrast, the year before was it was, it was a hard difficult. year. It was a very hard mm -hmm. year. Yeah. When the doctor saw her, she questioned it, what her diagnosis was because she's never seen a child at her age look like her. Um, by that point, you know, they are in a wheelchair full time, and they're you know using a feeding, feeding tube and a respirator, um, and she's just never needed anything like that. And because of the, the scoliosis, a lot of yeah. times they have to put rods in their back at that point, uh, at her age. <laughs> <laughs> <It's just laughs> <straight. laughs> um, and so yeah, the doctor, this last, just our recent uh, Yeah, within the visit, last six months. She was surprised and mm -hmm. questioned the diagnosis mm -hmm. and uh, explained to her, yeah, we for sure have it. the diagnosis is mm -hmm. correct. And she's, again, they usually don't see improvement with Ulrich muscular dystrophy. Never see improvement, yeah. Never. Yeah. And so when they see her, they, they you can just see, see the internal dialogue and them scratching the heads. And, and uh, we tell them, we, we share it with them what we've done and they're, uh, positive, let's see, how do they say it? Uh, they're um, cautiously optimist, uh, optimistic because they're trained in a certain way, certain box. That's the way that they're, mm -hmm. they're programmed to see things. And um, it's always fun to go in and tell them what we're doing to maybe bring them some new information for them to consider. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's fun to see them be shocked. And sort of bring short circuits a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 So that's happened. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and even the very first time we did the, the treatment, um, going back to the doctor who gave her the diagnosis, um, we sat down, I'll never forget, we sat down in the office and he said, how are things going? As he's looking at his computer and we said, really good. And his neck about snapped off because he doesn't, you he don't doesn't hear, hear really good yeah. in his office. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, what's going on? And we've got a video of her before and after, and he's the one that diagnosed her. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can tell that he was just super surprised uh, to hear that she's doing well, actually mm -hmm. better than the year before. Because mm -hmm. they want you to come back every year to, to just measure their decline. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were, it was exciting to show them that she's gotten better. That's great. Yeah. That's awesome. No more falling down. Congratulations. That's no, awesome. no pain <laughs> behind her knees because of the contractures. So, um, so that's happened several times when we go to regular doctors, to okay. conventional doctors. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. And I yeah. think basically I, the, the disease, it was more on the moderate end. And now as we've done the treatments, it's gone down the spectrum to a very minimal but so now it's basically a very mild version of what she had. Okay. Very mild. We'll take it. Yeah, I'm sure you'll take it. Yeah, we'll the take quality it. of life is night and day. Yeah, exactly. And that's what we're yeah. shooting for. 
Using current mainstream treatment pathways, muscular dystrophy continues to be a progressive disease where these children simply get worse over time. One of the markers used to measure the severity of muscular dystrophy is creatinine. Creatinine is an end product generated during muscle metabolism, and its excretion has been reported to progressively decrease in parallel with muscle wasting, and thus represents a useful marker to determine disease severity. The lower the levels, the more severe the disease, with higher levels marking a milder disease. To illustrate a one-year difference in Sophie's creatinine levels, her 2017 levels were below normal range, but in 2018, one year after her last fetal stem cell treatment, her creatinine levels have elevated into normal range. In addition, creatine phosphokinase, or CPK determination, is the most specific test for muscular dystrophy. Elevated CPK levels are indicative of muscle disease. The higher the CPK levels, the more severe the disease. Sophie's CPK levels have significantly reduced in the past year, showing that the second primary measurable indicator of muscular dystrophy also going in the opposite direction of the usual course of the disease. And Sophie's level of lactate dehydrogenase, or LDH, also improved. Muscular dystrophy is a common cause of high LDH, but Sophie's LDH decreased by well more than half in just one year.